Tantra movement. So today I will speak about the key for the unconditional love, it's acceptance. Whatever love uh, we talk about, whatever direction we talk about, it's always the key. Either it's uh, love to yourself, accept yourself, accept your body, accept your intellect, accept your character, accept your emotions as they are. Love yourself that you are. That's the beautiful uh, first step to learn how to love better. And uh, all our life is all about how to love better and doing it. Your body, how to accept yourself with all the deeds you did, how to forgive yourself and learn from mistakes, but always accept yourself. Always accept yourself the way you are. Love yourself for that you are, not for the expectations. The same counts for the relationship love. Uh, another direction. It's all about accepting yourself in this relationship and accepting your partner for that they are. Love them for that they are, not for what you would like them to be. Don't wait, don't force them into being the prince on the white horse or a princess, whatever. Accept them, love them for that they are. Don't push them to change. You may inspire them, yes. It's uh, important to ask yourself questions and maybe them too. Do you like what you do? Do you like to stay in this doing it forever? Or would you like to change how you see the direction to love? Where is direction to love? Where is direction to happiness? Let's go for that direction. Remember what Buddha said, that I transform it into the love. There is no way to love, to unconditional love. The unconditional love is the way. So this unconditional love has very important part in it, acceptance. So accept yourself, whatever you like to be, whatever your partner would like to be, accept them. And uh, this is the very important that you don't force yourself, don't push yourself for any change. Just inspire yourself, inspire your partner to be a always better version of yourself, but accept and love yourself in the way you are already. You are a beautiful being. Always remember that probably if you listen this video or watch this video, you are already a way ahead from uh, many people who like to be in your place. So with your consciousness, with your love, with your state of being, love yourself for that you are already here. And that also comes for the another direction, love to all. Yes, accept yourself with loving all nature the way as you are and always strive for better. There is always place for improvement, but don't push yourself. Don't get obsessed with yourself that you are not good enough. You are always good enough. So acceptance is very, very important thing. And when you accept yourself, everything flows much easier. Everything flows like uh, the water need to be pushed. So love yourself, accept yourself. That's emotion of love. It flows like a water. Let it flow. Help it to flow. You may pedal to get faster. Use other tools like Tantra techniques. Use it, don't lose it to make you speed up your flow to the happiness. You don't have to wait for the next life. You can create heaven on earth here as more and more. But accept that you will never, never, ever will uh, be in the state of full unconditional love for the rest of your life, every second. No, no, there would be ways, there would be moments of insecurities and accept them. Accept them because they remind you that, hey, we are human beings. Accept yourself as a human being. We are not yet in heaven, but we can create more heaven on earth by accepting yourself as a first step. This acceptance is like God's consciousness. The God's consciousness, love, it loves us as we are, without 
whatever we do, we uh, it always love us. It's like fool in the tarot card, in the Zen tarot Osho card. It's explained beautifully. It always trusts in you. So always trust in yourself. Whatever you fail, you use it to learn how to love better yourself and not to fail maybe so badly next time. Learn something from your mistakes and do it better next time that your life will become better and you, your feeling about yourself will become better. But accept, don't dwell into the failures. See them as a stepping stones for your better life without too many mistakes anymore. Goddess consciousness, it always forgives us. It always believes in the that we can get better. And then it works because we have to become better. We have to. So use this God consciousness. Be a God. Do not be a scared animal. It's okay sometimes to be scared too and be an animal as well. Yeah, a wild animal. But sometimes roar as a tiger and show to the world. I accept myself and from this love to myself I don't want that someone step on my trail on me pushing me down so no no don't let other people their problem so don't believe in the bullshit conditionings always accept yourself and learn listen what they say because that's your mirrors maybe they reflect something what you need to feel but accept yourself and see the reality as it is not through their conditionings but through your liberation love yourself aho amor 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 amor